Are you looking for the best backpacking sleeping bag? In this video, we will break down the top backpacking sleeping bags on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best backpacking sleeping bags, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting off at number 1, we have the REI Co-op Magma 15. We used to pass on most REI Co-op hard goods because they weren't competitive, but that is simply no longer the case. The in-house offerings have been very impressive of late, with a strong lineup of quality backpacking gear at good price points. The latest Magma 15 is case in point. For $369, you get a warm backpacking bag that is loaded with 15.9 ounces of 850 fill down. In terms of specs, the Magma is right in line with premium brands like Feathered Friends and Western Mountaineering, but with considerably less damage to your wallet. In practice, the REI Magma isn't perfect. Despite the impressive temperature rating, we found that past versions of the bag didn't quite run as warm as suggested. It's difficult to pinpoint exactly why, but the variable baffle spacing could have something to do with it. That issue aside, the Magma is a high-end backpacking bag at a reasonable weight and good price, which is why it's our top pick, and REI has expanded the Magma line by offering 15 degree and 30 degree versions for men and women, plus a 30 degree Magma quilt. At number 2, we have the North Face Furnace 35. In terms of value, you won't find a better backpacking bag than the North Face Furnace 35. For less than $170, you get a 37 degree Fahrenheit comfort rating, which should be enough for most summer adventures in warmer climates, along with a reasonable weight of 2 pounds for the regular size. Furthermore, the furnace is quite comfortable and decently wide through the shoulders and hips for those who like a roomier fit. Throw in features like a comfortable mummy hood, draft collar, and a hydrophobic down that is RDS certified, and the furnace is our favorite sleeping bag in the sub $200 price range. So what are the downsides of the North Face Furnace 35? The down is 600 fill power, which is respectable but doesn't offer the same warmth for weight or packability as the more premium sleeping bag options on this list. In addition, the temperature rating means that it isn't really built for the mountains or shoulder seasons, but North Face does make a warmer Furnace 20. That version is just $10 more, but comes with a significant weight penalty at 2 pounds 10 ounces. At number 3, we have the Feathered Friends Hummingbird UL30. If you haven't heard of Seattle-based Feathered Friends, do yourself a favor and get introduced. This small company specializes in premium down products and makes just about everything in the USA. Climbers stop in religiously before heading to Mount Rainer, Alaska, and far off places like the Himalayas, and it's well worth a visit if you're in Seattle. Most importantly, their sleeping bags and other down products are exceptionally well built and competitively priced for what you get. For three season use, the Hummingbird UL is our favorite ultralight sleeping bag on the market. It's stuffed with a generous 11.5 ounces of 950 fill goose down, has a thin but water resistant 10 denier Pertex Endurance shell, and comes in at just 1 pound 5.3 ounces for the 30 degree version. And compared with the popular Western Mountaineering Ultralight, the 20 degree Hummingbird UL is a full 5 ounces lighter and still $16 cheaper. At number 4, we have the Nemo Disco 30. Updated for fall of last year, the Nemo Disco builds on their successful spoon shaped sleeping bag concept. The focus here is on comfort. Nemo bags are wider than a typical mummy, particularly in the elbows and knees, so side sleepers and others can roll around without restrictions. The Disco is their mid-range offering, with 650 fill water-resistant down, a waterproof panel around the toe box for added protection, and a built-in sleeve for a pillow. For ventilation, you get two zippered gills running lengthwise at the top of the bag, and unzipping them creates intentional cold spots to release hot air in warm conditions. We found the system to be very helpful on a mild night in Utah. As we mentioned above with the furnace, Lower fill power down doesn't offer the same warmth for weight as more premium models, and the Nemo 650 fill is decidedly mid-range, and at 1 pound 15 ounces, Nemo did manage to shave a noticeable 6 ounces off the previous version by tweaking the contours, but it's still on the heavier end for a 30 degree bag. But if the roomy fit and unique features set appeal to you, the Disco is a great option. And at number 5, we have the Kelty Cosmic 20. For new backpackers and those on a budget, Kelty makes inexpensive gear that may pleasantly surprise you with its quality. The Cosmic 20 is one of the cheaper down sleeping bags on the market, definitely from one of the major manufacturers, but the EN lower limit rating of 19 degrees should keep you reasonably warm in most three season conditions. It's true that the 600 fill power down doesn't offer the same warmth or packability as many of the other bags on this list, 
but we love the value, and you get the bonus of a hydrophobic treatment for wet conditions. Kelty updated the Cosmic line for 2019, with the major change being a thinner, 20 denier shell fabric. The net result is a substantial drop in weight, which all backpackers should appreciate. The truth is that unless you have a dog that will be trampling your bag, or expect other rough treatment, it should be on the inside of your tent and not subject to much abuse. And now at less than 2.5 pounds all in, the Kelty Cosmic is another viable backpacking bag for those on a budget. So that sums up our top backpacking sleeping bags. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.